hey guys welcome back to my channel and hello again taurus Alrighty, this is our third career and money reading for february 2022 hopefully you guys are all doing great so what why how and when where and with who of the goal of what the question can be really we're going to puzzle these points with those first 10 cards and then we will throw another layer of 10 cards now let me introduce my guests here, those beautiful, beautiful Thunder Bay Amethyst points from, well, from here in Ontario. So, Taurus, let's see what we have going here. Alrighty, there's powerful energies here, guys. So, we've got a Lapapisa High Priestess, we've got the Star, we have the Hermit, and then we have some, you know what, powerful entities here. So, changes you want to make, Taurus, changes you want to make on your mind and and you know what you're excited about them this is a five of happy changes in my viewpoint this is a five of i feel the time is right okay i feel this is the time to you know what take something on it's like there is a question on your mind here with a wheel of fortune that you are unsettled about you have not decided yet okay but the way you will decide will require you taking some time here, okay, and studying this particular opportunity. Now, this first layer here suggests a lot of good focused energy, guys, a lot of intuition and information. Look what we have. So we'll come back to our page of uh, coins, of course, after the five, but we have the high priestess, right? We have the star both are moments of intuition one here is beyond book knowledge one here calls on their own life experiences and then we have the star moment which is also quite inspiring but really it's your personal intuition and also your um, alignment inside out what's in my heart my feelings you know what i'm aligning myself with what i want to do so i go back to aligning myself with what i want to do now and say there's a page here. There's a page of coins here. There's someone who is seeking a material result. Someone who is seeking something tangible, okay? Besides the fact that it's coins, but it has to do as well perhaps with career advancement. This is the earthy matter. And at the same time, this is uh, a beginning of sort. This is a beginning, not because you're starting anew, but maybe seeking the path to get to a position of sort here so changes I'm excited to do changes I'm excited to implement changes I'm thinking about I'm feeling there can be some changes and then I take my time because I understand that if I implement those changes that being you Taurus right um, there are opportunities and here's the wheel of fortune in position seven those three are in a way connected the goal the question and how we may see it so if I were to see it for you i would say you have an idea here that with a few changes you may put yourself on a new can we say um, success path already a new success path that is earthy that is also bound to have material results so we are engaging our intuition and we are also analyzing with the you know what life experiences but also bringing things down to practicality so here we go we're looking at an opportunity that could involve travel we're looking at an opportunity that could take you you know what to a higher management position as well and the way you are taking your next steps is by validation so validation inspiration this is all in the department of feeling strong about making a decision what is the decision you're about to make towards some of you may be going elsewhere, somewhere new for a new role. Maybe there's some departure, maybe a change of geography. But really, validation is something you've got. And I love the fact that you have a seven of swords. That means when you know what you're talking about, not only do you know, but you're also convincing others. You're also gaining credibility. The ability that you have to, can we say, simplify information tidbits of information relate to others here presents you with an opportunity the element of plugging in your analytical skills your intuition plus data plus facts right puts you in a uh, very unique can we say position 
one of the great things you are able to do now is analyze that opportunity, analyze the situation more, what changes have to be made, and okay, materially speaking, now what is the full plan for that kind of implementation, right? So uh, the king of coins as a timing note suggesting get your full set of facts before you obviously take off or take on the new project, the new product. Um, and you are in the process of doing that. I mean, look at the La Papesa, the star, the seven of swords. These are all, you know what, all about validation. These are all about checking in internally and also aligning with whatever effort we are about to commit to. So that's why I get the star here and I think, okay, well, Taurus may be heading somewhere because now a purpose here we also have another page and now it's a page that suggests authority i'm looking for obviously more money and authority and the possibility here is well we have the energy of i'm focused and i could be on my own so you look at the hermit in different contexts our context is all about business and money and career when someone is on their own guess what I'm going to throw this one out here. There may be the element of retirement as well, okay? To some of you guys, to each their own life situation. But the on my own, if it isn't about retirement, I would say, okay, that may afford you a vacation, that may afford you some me time, those changes that you are acting on, right? After you validated them. All right, this is our first layer. And by the way, some me time doesn't mean that you have to be the hermit. It could be, you know what, enough time, enough success that you can afford now to spend time at the spa, things of that nature. So when we look at the hermit, that's someone who's also not struggling. They're enjoying their um, time, whatever it is that they do. All right, and they guide others too. So can we say, before I turn them in, can we say, look at the lantern, can we say you are in, you know what, some kind of a leadership role also potentially with those energies. Now, do we go somewhere or do we stay? I don't know, but let's see what those cards may suggest. So 10 more cards and and two aces and a 10, and that's a beauty. And a seven on top of a seven. And okay. And here and hero. Okay, the Empress, goody. As a conclusion, the creation of something new as a conclusion the creation of a path can we say that takes you into long-term achievement long-term progress etc etc goody okay so we were looking at our five of cups here and saying we are excited about enacting or acting on a change some kind of a change that could be a change to your work mode or it could be a change because you're going somewhere right and that change was also going to present you with a new path, right? With the page of uh, coins here. Here we have the nine of coins, and now we have the ace of cups. Therefore, okay, getting more and more attained, more and more, um, can we say, convinced or, or detailed information on wherever you may be going or the change you're about to enact, and really feeling that it is a new beginning. That is more and more validation on how this new beginning can offer can we say better ways to making revenue? I have a cup here. I have an element of fluidity. Can we say also that it may show you an interesting new way to penetrate into the market? And it may also uh, show you an immediate result, guys. So Taurus, I'm looking at the uh, 10 of coins here and I say, you get some kind of validation. We are saying the word one more time, validation with money right there is a ten of coins here that completes the phase for you that completes the research for you but at the same time it gives you the you were right this works and here's an example okay a seven of coins on top of your seven of swords confidence confidence and not just that and ready to advance and ready to lead so my thoughts or your thoughts are turning into money your ideas, your plans will turn into money with that much validation, okay? With that much study here, this is like 90% complete thought process, okay? Seven on top of a seven, not just the high level thoughts, but the material thoughts as to who's going to do what, who has to do what, materially, including thoughts about location, etc., etc. 
okay now the three of swords what a amazing energy to be around with the queen of cups who we thought was an analytical energy an energy that will you know what present you with an opportunity as you slice and dice some information here we are more and more working with the element of data and facts so that's why you've got a seven that's why you've got confidence that's why as i project on you guys your thoughts become money okay the swords here have turned into coins into something earthy something you can take to the bank in a way material gains now on top of the wheel of fortune we have now the six of coins this six is about overcoming material changes material elements so we first began with what changes do I have to make okay and then we have a path here and then we run into sometimes hiccups we run into our own intuition some other guidance we need to make changes may appear as an obstacle but no you have the priorities okay so with your sharp planning here Taurus you've also kind of prepared for what may come along the way and therefore we have the right priorities in place the timing note now says and suggests over the king of coins the three of cups collaboration guys additional knowledge um, you do have these energies about analysis about you know what more than book knowledge life experiences business experiences and then you end up here with the number three as well so <clears throat> some kind of collaboration right really provides you with the ability to turn your idea into you know what those coins that we see here the nine of wands on top of the um, page of swords here as a purpose note says we are fired up okay we are fired up about those changes we are aligned with you know what what's in our heart with our potential commitment to some actions and you have validation after validation and i love the fact that we end with the empress creation that is organic it is not for you know what a quick win and then we have a different something no what's coming after that is the emperor is a can we say an empire of success of winnings so i'm projecting a lot of positive happy successful energy on you guys and i'm projecting also that you have you know what more than book knowledge you're going to plug that in you're going to check in with additional source sources of information as you need and turn your thoughts into money and that is fun all right you guys this was our reading i hope you guys liked it let me know what you thought and as always taurus i want you to know we do love you madly and bye for now guys